Hey, Shalom. First of all, I'd like to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Rakakodash, Yahweh who the world ignorantly calls God, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. I want to give a double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone, who has taught me the truth. I want to give a peace and blessings to the eye came across the four corners of the earth, who teach the truth from which life to do so. Lord willing to be those edifying, Lord willing you brothers kiss her in front of this video. This is Wisdom of Solomon 2 and 3. I'm going to get this. Because this is how, you know, the higher ups of the heathen nations, especially Esau, you know, the higher ups of Esau think, you know, you know, this is how they, this is how they think, man. And I'm going to get a couple scriptures, you know, proving that, you know, this is, this is, uh, you know, this is definitely an enemy of ours, you know what I mean? And they know exactly who we are. Okay. And they know exactly what time it is. Okay, but they can't escape or die. This is Wisdom of Solomon 2. And I'm going to start at 1. It says, For the ungodly set reasoning with themselves, but not all right. Our life is short and tedious, and in the, de in the death of a man there is no remedy. <laughs> Neither was there any man known to return from the grave. Okay, for we are born at all adventure, and we shall be hereafter. As though we had never been, for the breath in our nostrils is a smoke and a little spark in the moving of our heart. Now, just reading one and two, it shows you the carnality of these devils, how carnal they are. Okay, that's why, and the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. So, you got to understand that, you know, so is the, if the king is wicked, the people is too. You know, <clears throat> this is three. It says, uh, which being extinguished, our body shall be turned into ashes and our spirit shall vanish as the soft air and our name shall be forgotten in time. And that name is going to be forgotten in time. OK, especially in the kingdom, you know, when peace comes after your captivity, you know, and this all out peace, you know, we ain't even got to see your ass no more. Of course, you're going to be forgotten because you were made for one purpose. You were made to be the most high sword against his people. And that's it. You know, and you did more than enough damage, you know, but guess what? Most high say he's sort of pleased with the heathen that are at ease, you know? Y'all did way more than what, what the fuck y'all was supposed to do. This is a uh, four. It says, and our name shall be forgotten in time, and no man shall have our works in remembrance. And our life shall pass away as the trace of, the cloud, of a cloud, and shall be dispersed as a mist that is driven away with the beams of the sun and overcome with the heat thereof. For our time is very is a very shadow that passeth away, and after our end there is no returning. For it is fast sealed, so that no man cometh again. Come on, therefore, let us enjoy the good things that are present, and let us speedily use the creatures like as in youth. Let us fill ourselves with costly wine and ointments, and let no flower of the spring pass by us. Let us crown ourselves with rosebuds before they be withered. Let none of us go without his part of our voluptuousness. Let us leave tokens of our joyfulness in every place, for this is our portion and our lot is this. So they know their lot, and they know that they have the fatness of the earth. Okay? Check this out. This is sin that says, let us oppress the poor righteous man. Let us not spare the widow, nor reverence the ancient gray hairs of the age. Okay? Let us, so they didn't, they didn't, and they didn't, you know, it says, let us oppress the poor. They oppress the poor every day. Okay. And we ain't talking about, you know, the homeless. We're talking about Israel, you know, Israel is a, is a poor nation. And the reason why Israel is a poor nation is because we don't have our power. Israel, it says, oh, thy worm, Jacob, you know, so we need our power. We don't listen, man. We, we can't do anything without Yahweh, why Yahweh shall. We can't, we cannot, man. You know, we can't. OK, it says let it. But understand that these heathens has benefited off of uh, has definitely benefited off of um, our curses. And they know they have, you know, but they know it's time to pay because that cup shall also pass through them. This is love and says, let our strength be the law of justice. Ain't that the truth? Their strength is the law of justice and it changes all the time. You know, their strength in, in, in you know, they have a physical law, which is called the police, you know, and tell me the police ain't out here putting hell on people, on Jake. It says, let our strength be the law and justice for that, which is feeble, is found to be nothing worth. 
Therefore, let us lie and wait for the righteous because he is not for our turn. See, we're enemy unto them. It says, and he is clean contrary to our doings. Now, proving that is that when you go to the second Maccabees, you know, what did it tell Matthias? You know, it says, or it was either Judas or Matthias. He was like, uh, it was like, oh, uh, follow us, you know, basically forsake the law. Follow us like every all the others, like some men in, in, in Israel did, you know, and, um, you know, follow, follow your way, follow, follow our ways. You know, follow our law. They try to give him license of sin. He said, "Hell no!" Nah. You know, he even slew a man that 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 was gonna make a wicked sacrifice on the altar. It says, "And objected to our infamy, the transgressions of our education." He prof professed to have the knowledge of the Most High, and he called himself the child of the Lord. And that's straight up. You know, <laughs> straight up. You know, the Most High has cared for his delight. You know, what did he show Ezra's? He showed Ezra's visions. What did he show John? He showed John visions. You know, what did he? What, what was uh, Daniel able to do? He was able to break down dreams. Okay, you know, you know what did he? You know, he led Moses out of Egypt. You know, and there's many, many, many stories. I could go on on all the prophets. It says, look at the generations of old, and said that did, did any even that any ever trust in the Most High and was confounded, or did any one call up was forsaken and anybody call upon his name was confounded? No. Okay, no. This is 15, it says, He is grievous unto us, even to behold, for his life is not like other men's. His ways are an, of another fashion. And our ways, you know, to the best of our abilities, our ways is, you know, of another fashion. We don't hold, uphold the same thing as world, the world does. We don't celebrate birthdays. We don't celebrate Mother's Day. We don't celebrate Christmas. We don't do Easter. We don't celebrate Easter. We don't do none of that shit the world do. Okay, we have high holy days, you know, we don't pop other men's women, <laughs> you know what I mean, you know, we don't do shit like that, we don't, we don't, everything we do, we try to do it with the law, not against the law, you know, but we are in the sinful ass flesh, and we are in the sinful ass kingdom, you know what I mean, it says a just man, so fall seven times, but get back up again, so we know that we get back up, keep trucking, and we don't look back, we keep pushing. But with us having that integrity, our ways are automatically different from the world. Okay? This is 16. It says, we are esteemed of him as counterfeits. Now, counterfeit is something fake. He, he abstaineth from our ways as from filthiness. Check it out. He pronounced the end of the just to be blessed and make his boast that the Most High is his father. Straight up, man. You know, this is 17. It says, let us see if his words be true and let us prove what shall happen to the end of him. Daredevils, man. This is 18. It says, for if the just man be the son of the Most High, he will, he will help him and deliver him from the hand of his enemies, which Yahweh Yahweh is delivering us from the land of our enemies. As a matter of fact, when you go to Baruch, it tells you um, that we will uh, basically... You know, that we would be reproved in the face of our enemies. And that's what's going on now. You know, this is the first time you've seen so-called Negroes in uh, the northern tribe, so-called Mexicans, on the same accord. Okay? It's 19. It says, let us examine him with despitefulness and torture, that we may know his meekness and prove his patience. Let us condemn him with a shameful death, for by his own saying, he shall be respected such things they did imagine and were deceived for their own wickedness hath blinded them as for the mysteries of the most high they knew not they knew them not neither hope for for neither hope they for wages of righteousness nor discern a reward for blameless souls it's 23 it says for the most high created man to be immortal and made him to be an image of his own eternity Nevertheless, though envy of the devil came death into the world, and they that do hold of his side do find it. But the basically the point was uh, 13 through 16, man. You know, <clears throat> these motherfuckers, they know. And 3 through 5 were well, really all that, but they know what's going on, you know. But I'm going to grab this real quick. It says, uh, this is Wisdom of Solomon 3. And I always grab this. And this, I'm going to end it on. I'm going to get right to the point. I'm going to end it on this. It says, 
And in the time of their visitation, this is talking about the elect. You can read up, right? It says, they shall shine and run to a fur like sparks among the stubble. They shall judge the nations and have dominion over the people. And the Lord shall reign forever. They that trust their, they that put their trust in him shall understand the truth and such as be faithful in love shall abide with him for grace and mercy is to the saints and what? And he hath care for his elect. Okay, but the ungodly shall be punished according to their own imaginations, which have neglected the righteous and forsaken the Lord. Straight up, man. You know? <laughs> so, you know, that's a distinct difference from how heathens think and how Israelites, the potential elect, the elect thinks, you know? You know, but with that, man, Lord willing, Vito is edifying. Lord willing, brothers, got some from this video. I want to give all praises to you. How about Shimei, Shabbat, Shimei, Kakwadash. I want to tell you, brothers, to stay up and keep pushing. Shalom.